So my name is Bruce Melado. I'm the director of the Institute for Collider Particle Physics. I'm a professor at Wits University and a senior researcher at the Temba Labs or the National Research Foundation. I'm a particle physicist. So a particle physicist is a person, a team of people that uh, use the, the most energetic accelerators in the world in order to discover new particles and new interactions in nature. Yeah, the Large Hadron Collider is the most powerful accelerator complex in the world to date. Uh, is uh, a bunch of magnets that sit about 100 meters below the surface of uh, Earth uh, in the boundary between France and Switzerland. Um, we, in South Africa, have a program that is funded by the Department of Science and Innovation and the National Research Foundation that allows us to travel to CERN and collaborate with international stakeholders and collaborators with which we are able to train our students uh, in the bleeding edge uh, techniques in uh, detector, instrumentation, data analysis, particle physics, artificial intelligence, and bring that knowledge uh, to South Africa. What do we do in particle physics? We have an accelerator that accelerates particles to very high energies, and those particles collide, leading to small explosions. Those small explosions are detected by detectors, which can be viewed as a very complicated camera, taking uh, many, many, many pictures per second, generating a lot and a lot of data. Um, that data is so massive that requires advanced analytics, requires sophisticated techniques, and artificial intelligence provides that ecosystem of techniques that allows us to navigate through that large amount of data. Now, artificial intelligence is something that can be used for pretty much everything where that has data. Whenever you have large amounts of data, artificial intelligence can come in in order to help you understand the data. And our team, as a matter of fact, uh, has been advising the provincial government of Gauteng as to how to deal with the management of COVID-19 in light of a lot of data. Early on, I, I always liked mathematics and that kind of thinking. Um, originally, I, uh, I wanted to become a doctor, a medical doctor, but I realized that I had to memorize hundreds of bones and muscles. And I thought that was not something that um, I was good at. My memory is not good. Uh, and I realized uh, later on that um, I'm better at analyzing, studying things, get information from sources and understand nature, um, not based on memory, but based on analytic skills, which is highly uh, mathematical. The most important and exciting part of the job is interacting with people, exchanging information, uh, working with people from all over the world, um, training and mentoring young uh, people, young South Africans, um, and try to create a community of people that exchange information for the good of society. And to me, that is a, a major driver. CERN, the European Laboratory, uh, invented the Internet. The Internet uh, is essentially a bunch of protocols to exchange data that physicists um, thought it would be necessary to change information from different points on, uh, on the globe. People sitting in different countries and needing to exchange information. And in 1995, he made it to uh, the public in a wide way uh, through the WWW and the rest is history. We know how important the internet has become in our lives. And most importantly, to exchange information, to broaden the scope of our ability to access information it has magnified, it has enhanced tremendously the amount of information we process on a daily uh, basis. In life, you have to have a passion. You, know, you need to have something you like, you love to do. Uh, you want to go to work to do something you love, you're passionate about. And science offers that opportunity. Uh, the academic world, the research world is about going to an office and solving a problem, going to an office and um, help people solve problems. I would strongly encourage everyone uh, that is passionate about asking questions and understanding your surroundings to do and uh, do research and fundamental science, going to do research and uh, 
walk that path with other researchers.